Hi, I'm Victor Budko. I'm an old painter on the fourth floor. Um, glad to see you. So, it's my field easel. Uh, it's kind of typical Russian easel. They do it in two sizes. Little ones, like half easel, and this is the biggest one. Uh, and it looks like a hybrid of uh, the Gloucester easel and French easel. So, very sturdy, in the windy weather. And uh, I have everything in it, what I need. Out. Now it's a little bit light, but usually um, I have a pile, so that and <laughs> my pile is getting so heavy. Uh, I have my paints, uh, the turpentine, brushes, and works. Usually it looks like that. And uh, painting day by day in the same time, like for example, this is Moonscape and Long Island. Uh, I have a timing, and like this is very short time to paint like 30 40 minutes until total dark. And it takes this is like a result of four days. One day is like drawing and composition, then painting, and I still have to finish it. I have some sketches, references, so I will use them. Or when do you know it's done? It's, I can't explain it. I just feel it. I try to uh, go to Russia to see my family and border was locked and I stay here and paint around Walton. I found a nice place here at the old cemetery and I paint there uh, I think people told uh, it's one of my best painting of last time. Oh, that's I painted in Boston uh, at the Boston Tree Lightings. It was very freezy and I forgot my lights for like, lighting my canvas and um, uh, trying to ask my wife Kelly to bring them and, and she cannot even bring them to me because like people around me, around me, like huge amount of people. I'm just a little artistic island in the crowds and I panic with my mobile phone. And it takes me two nights. It's historic scene uh, of Walton uh, because now here's a new building. I painted two years ago. Oh, and it's changed already? Yeah. Here is a new building. Unfinished, but... big. <laughs> yeah? This way. So you can see. Now the building is right there. for winter. It was my idea of the big painting of Walton and I did the references for it because uh, originally I can't, my neck is not so long for see this house and like this place. So I 
put my camera with the scotch tape to the big pole, make set a timer, and pull like put it in the window, and did like several pictures for have a good example. And uh, this part was drawn from life, and this part a little bit kind of connected from references. Then I just uh, you stopped. Give it, I stopped. Do you think you'll pick it up again? Maybe, maybe. I don't know, I don't know yet. No, that's a long story. I just third generation of painters. Yeah. So my grandfather, my both parents are artists. So yeah, when I was a kid, after kindergarten, I go into uh, my grandfather's studio where my parents also worked, and uh, I have to wait them when they're done, and then we go home. And so it's it was my second home, basically. So, and uh, my grandfather had lots of interesting things there, like uh, antiques, uh, which is kind of interesting, some little machinery, um, and all, also lots of uh, tools. I tried everything, met other painters, uh, and I saw the whole process all the time. And then I kind of, you know, organically decided to be a painter, oil painter. We love open studios because of real meetings. Uh, um, and it's kind of in the artist's blood always to make exhibition, a little show, introduce what are you doing actually to the people have a feedbacks that's i think the most exciting because you know it's a big deal for us we cleaning everything up hang on the paintings it's exciting and then two days of the show doesn't matter where like in the studio i think it's interesting for people too to see like artistic world in person uh, to be allowed to get in that little world and see the paintings right here why we're we painting because something from this scene a little bother the soul and when you're painting you kind of bring to the canvas your feelings which uh, born from that scene from those bothers of your soul and then when we show the painting the people see and feel exact same feelings if it happens it's good painting that's a goal i think